TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy Year End Review with The Ambassador, Slay J, and Pablo Gunner, The we're Gun Show. Oh yeah, and we're here to talk nerdy to you about 2023, the best of, right? Yes, yeah. Like, but uh, just go ahead and hit us up. We're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Anywhere you want to go, TNTM the show, you can find our content. You can go to Facebook, look at our reels, go to Instagram, look at our memes, go to our website, check everything out. Yep. Especially our merch. But wait, there's more. Absolutely, yes. I have the new Doctor Who, which this was just a prototype. This is why we order our stuff, because we're like, okay, how's this going to look? Not as good as I thought, I, you know, like... I thought this was going to be a good placement right here, but uh, no, it's, it's, gonna, too in between. it's too high. Oh, well, okay. the, the lettering's too high, lettering. so I'm going to drop it. So I already dropped it. I drop, I pulled it all down, so it's already up on the site. Fixed. Boom. Ready for you there to you get go. the new and improved Talk Nerd to Me Doctor Who merch. We do have some free shipping uh, merch, so check out that. It has a ribbon that says free shipping, mm -hmm. and 5% uh, of our proceeds each month go to a different charity, so... Uh, check that out and support us so you can support some good causes out there like diabetes. Uh, what was our most recent one? Uh, AIDS. AIDS, yes. Uh, not not the people that help you, but the the uh, the affliction on people. So mm -hmm. just think of Freddie Mercury, and you'll you'll know what it is. <laughs> Uh, so I think we should start off with some movies since yes, I think absolutely. I think we all have something to to add to that. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Uh, Pablo, do you want to start us off? Well, I do want to start off saying I did watch Barbie. It was a solid movie. It was really witty. It was really clever. I, it, it was just really smart. Really, it was just like a heartfelt movie. I'm interested to see the sequel pick up exactly where it leaves off. Uh, but we'll see if that actually happens or not. But yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah, honorable mention to the soundtrack of that too. I think Billie Eilish did a oh, really yeah. good job well, with that. Song. There was a lot. There were Lizzo's on there. There was a lot of mm -hmm. big artists on that that I Ryan think it was Gosling. all original. <laughs> Ryan Gosling's songs in it, you know, when he sings as Ken. Oh, yes, yes. dude. The Ken's <laughs> face-offs were so funny. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Like, the beach joke, like, was so great. Oh, my God. Yeah, so clever. And would you say it was, like, too feminist or... No. Yeah. I mean... I think it had a bad rap, you know, in that sense. Yeah, even my buddy, he's like... He was like, I, I don't get the hate either. Like, it was just a fart. It was a, it was a smart, funny movie. Yeah, a farce, right? Like, yeah. From what I understand, it made fun of extremes. Mm -hmm. yes. So, like, Barbie's world is extreme feminism... To the point where it doesn't function, and then the parody of our world was an extreme that it doesn't function as well. Right, pretty much, yeah. more yeah, or less. Yeah, that's a great thing. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm glad you checked it out because I, you know, definitely said it was worth seeing for for sure. Oh, uh, okay. So what else, man? So, but my favorite movie because I was like, man, Miss Marvels, it hit me, right? Like that's the thing is for me. A lot of stuff was emotional, like Aquaman was emotional. The, the brother stuff in there was that hit me pretty hard. Brother? I'm gonna have a brother? <laughs> I've always dreamed about having a brother. Speak of the devil. Oh, brother! <laughs> brother? I'm Paul. You must be Tommy. Brothers don't shake hands. Brothers got a hug. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of my lack of sleep or just because, you know, I'm more in touch now that I have girls. Uh, and then Miss Marvels because I have, or The Marvels because I have girls and then just in general that was great. And I was like, I wanted to pick Miss Marvels, but then I was like, nope, there's one that's a little bit better. The Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume oh, yes. 3. Yes, that one was That great. one was like yeah. so many, I was like, that one made me cry multiple times throughout the movie and I was like it's funny that there's that themes where that movie was like that's a perfect movie to see with your close friends then Marvel's there to see with like you know your girlfriends or, or and stuff like that you know girls and then brothers with Aquaman you know what I mean like that was really cool but yeah definitely Guardians it was that one 
hit me in the feels really good and just made the perfect trilogy too. Yeah, that backstory with Raccoon, uh, Rocket Raccoon mm -hmm. was was great. Enriches it. Yeah, it enriches does. the entire trilogy so much. It really does. It, that was such a seamless tri trilogy, in my opinion. Probably one of the best out there. Mm -hmm. um, just for just the way the story progressed, and the third one wasn't horrible. Like most of the time, third movies are just horrible or they're just not really that character's movie like captain america civil war was just a another avengers movie it wasn't captain america right and he didn't get the third movie he deserved i will say though there's one thing in guardians that still sticks in my craw which is when he makes the leap he doesn't have his his helmet and he doesn't have the the boots or like the the clip on jets and I just thought, like... And someone told me that they were destroyed in a previous movie, which I didn't remember. But it's like, why wouldn't you just get them remade or whatever? You know what I mean? Like, why wouldn't you have them? You had them in the first movie. You had them in the second movie, as far as I remember. Why wouldn't you have them in the third? And to me, I just thought, like, that moment could have still had that. It sh that should have still been in there. But you should have been like, I'm going to stick my helmet onto one of the people we're saving. I'm going to stick my boots onto one of the people we're saving. And then he's going to take the leap. You know what I mean? That would have made that better and it would have made it more sense because that's the biggest complaint that i've heard about that is like well where's his helmet and where's his boots and it's like yeah that's true but it was still great despite that so and we all, all three of us saw that together which mm -hmm. was great yeah. you know, it was definitely a bonding experience for the bros so we were all holding hands yeah. crying <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah there may or may not have been some uh good old classic cuddling there <laughs> I don't know about this guy. What <laughs> are you talking about? You are the one instigating it. <laughs> I'm the cuddly one, right? <laughs> yeah. um, for me, for movie of the year, and I don't think this is a shock if you guys follow my Slay J reviews on our YouTube, but um, it's definitely going to be Godzilla minus one. Um, such a complete story. No plot holes. Like, And on, honestly, me going in as just wanting to see... A Godzilla movie, I'm thinking action, 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 but then I was hit in the face with like a beautifully written story, um, the main character's backstory, the main character's just uh, character himself of being able to, to take like an orphan and a girl in that he ends up falling in love with and just the whole brevity of the situation, he makes some friends on a boat um, it's just, it's done, it's beautifully written, like I said, no plot holes, I didn't feel like anything was missing, all the loose ends were tied, there was a nice kind of like a, um, switch up at the end, like I wasn't expecting this to end this way, and it did, uh, which kind of just made it heartwarming, and, and it being, like, I'm gonna let you guys know, I don't watch movies that are in other languages that often, um, but I truly enjoyed this one. It didn't feel bad that I had to read the subtitles the whole time because the actors' emotions, the actors, like, the ways they delivered their lines, I just felt like anguish in some parts and then some just humanity and some humbleness. So uh, that one's definitely my movie of the year. Yeah, especially the tone of that neighbor all the time. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbor was so great in that. <laughs> like, yeah. you could tell, like, when she had like approval or disapproval oh, when yes. she was talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, even those side characters are great, man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I watched Godzilla as well, minus one and yeah, that CGI was really good on it too. Like the effects were really good, story was really good. I like the perspective of World War Two that it did where like, the Japanese weren't like, screw the West, they are just more like, screw you, Japan. Mm -hmm. Screw the government for dragging us into this unnecessary war that we didn't want. Was their sentiment more than anything else. And you kind of got to see it just like little by little throughout the whole movie sprinkled in. Just because of them having to live with, well, being a nation that was destroyed for the most part in quite a few different ways because besides the nukes they, there was quite a few bombings of major cities uh, but
but yeah, the whole overall story was really good. It was a good, like, timed piece. And then uh, I liked how they went with the dinosaur origin. Because there are two different main origins Godzilla has. One is the... There happens to be a dinosaur still alive that gets radioactive. The other is using a lizard. The dinosaur one always seemed cooler. He does seem cool. And then even just like the scene... Like he bites that like train uh, thing. Look, it just looked so cool and powerful. Yeah. And then when he does attack the boat out in the on the ocean, it's just, it's like you're like wow, this dude's like he's powerful for sure. Oh, him just throwing everything like crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then uh, I liked how they did like the little like quill sticking out for the atomic breath. Oh, nice, yes, yeah. Yeah, that was, was just cool. such a cool touch to it. Yeah, like it charged up his tail and through his back, and it yeah. was pretty cool. You Like, in the in the legendary films, you can see it, but it's a lot cooler when you actually see, like, the his, like, quills on the back point sticking more out and starting to glow as he gets that atomic breath ready, and then I felt like the atomic breath was way more intense because, like, uh, when you see it the one time close up where someone's having to try to survive it, and the sheer power of it was just crazy. It was cool, yeah, like the blast radius, even from it, yeah. from the blast itself that was directed elsewhere, and it came back, it really, it was cool. Like, they did, they did a good job of kind of, like, the scientific part of it, you know. Well, mean? about as scientific as you can get. Oh, well, yeah, you know, like but with a was, fake story, but... <laughs> with, with, the, with, the, with atomic breath. Unless there really is Godzilla, and we don't know, you know. It We're would... not on that side of the world, so... Well, <laughs> and, and they're not wrong. I mean, <laughs> the U.S. and Japan detonated a lot of nukes in that area. <laughs> totally. The, Japan, ja the Japanese people during World War II trying to figure out nuclear science... And then, of course, the Americans are like, well, it's our enemy. Perfect place to test it. <laughs> uh, so, Jeff, are you going to say that's your movie of the year? or did you Yeah, that's okay. my movie of the year. Uh, Runner-ups would be Oppenheimer and Super Mario Brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, honorable mention, for sure, is Super Mario Brothers. That one was very, like, um, well done for, like, a video game movie, in my opinion. What do you think about it? I liked it, but I just feel like most of the acting wasn't really acting. Like, they weren't really voice acting, right? They're not okay. voice actors. They're just doing them their own voice. Like, Seth uh, Rogen was Seth Rogen, you know. Uh, but sometimes that's why they choose the character, because they like more Disney and, like, American animation. A lot of times they choose a character for that voice. Like, in Aladdin, for Iago, they wanted Guild for Godfrey, so they got... Gil for Godfrey, the voice Iago. But now, pe now people are like Iago before Gilbert Godfrey, though. You know what I mean? Like he comes, the character comes before that. Whereas, like you know, it's the actor. You can tell. And to me, that's you're not really, you're not really your voice acting. To me, you know what I mean? Like there, I'm not saying there's not good voice acting in that because there is. And the animation was great, and the story was great. I loved. The, but I just feel like that was a little, and I know that's what they preferred, but still. So, but I, I wouldn't doubt that uh, Godzilla would probably be my movie of the year as well. It's everybody's movie of the year, it seems like. But the reason it's not is because I didn't see it. Uh, but I heard about it through Film Rage, one of our, uh, you know. Our networking partners. One of our networking partners, and so I heard it, about it from them. So I was like, oh, this sounds so great. I, I have to check this out. And then yours. And I was like, oh, man. So, but yeah. And now you heard me. It's tough. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Poor Pablo has to sit here and listen to us, like, rave about it. Uh, but you'll see it soon. Yeah, yeah eventually. I'm confident. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. in Japan, it's really cool what they're going to do for a special release of it. They're going to re-release it uh, in January in black and white in theaters. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Yeah, I would I wouldn't mind checking that out. Like I said in my review, I definitely want to see it again. 
Uh, I just want to give some shout outs, uh, especially to Atticus. Thank you for giving us a shout out on your page. So I was talking to some of the guys from Talk Nerdy To Me, the show. It's a YouTube channel and I wanted to give them a shout out. He recently reached 500 subscribers, so that's a huge thing. I know. I saw that shout out. That was really awesome. Man. And, uh, fantastic. It. Atticus, we, we appreciate you. Appreciate your support and your feedback every time we have a video. It's only going to help us get better, and man, we, we support you, we want, guys, go check out this guy, he's, he's an awesome dude. Yeah, his videos are really raw, they're really awesome, It's he lives in Vietnam, he's a teacher there, so you get some stuff if you want to be a teacher there, just seeing the country, like I love to just see the country and see the, you know, the buildings and stuff and the food, like it's it's really cool, I like it. So, uh, I want to... How dark it can get, that's pretty cool. Too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really, it's really neat. Uh, Pesky Gremlins is another one of our uh, one of our uh, partners. Uh, Cinematic Anarchy uh, Filmmakers Pod, MK Jekyll and Hyde, Film Rage for sure. Like we have a good back and forth with them, as well as MK Jekyll and Hyde uh, Web Web Imagine Service. They put out music and stuff. I think mostly in Europe and in England and stuff. So they got some cool jams. And then Amerame Media, and and they cover all kinds of like nerdy anime gaming stuff and stuff similar to us but different of course because they're different people so it's 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 really good stuff so check them all out and our merch we got tmnt yep. style stuff you know over here and then we got some mmpr power ranger stuff i love our power ranger stuff i need to get my own because it's wicked and then i got the doctor who that i made for this merch of the month stuff and yeah continue to check it out we have echo next month so we're probably gonna do a little daredevil I want to do like a designator driver one, <laughs> so if we can do that, um, and just Echo stuff, I need to look up, do some research on Echo, because she's a really cool character and make some merch for that, and whatever else, we got One Piece coming out next month, so we got we got more, there's always more stuff coming, uh, so we're going to keep you all in the know, and cover that stuff for you, merch, and just videos across the board, so yeah. Stay tuned, you know, 2024 is going to be only bigger and better for Talk Nerdy to me, so make sure you stay tuned. And stay nerdy, planet Earth. Talk Nerdy to me.